So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be using professional PC tweaks to tweak my PC. So if you haven't seen, the new Fortnite season actually reduces your FPS by a lot. So today we're going to be trying to combat that with Xylo tweaks. So I have actually contacted Xylo and talked about his tweaks with him. And he has decided to give me his tweaks for free for this video. And if you do want to try out Xylo's tweaks, I will leave it in the description. So now I'm going to show you before and then later on I'll get to the after when I was using Xylo tweaks. First of all, I will be going through what my PC looked like before. So starting off with So starting off with my processors. This is my CPU processors. Right now it's about 170. So it's actually not too bad. It's not that bloated, but I'm pretty sure we can get it down a bit more using Xylo's tweaks hopefully. I'm going to test down in Fortnite really quickly and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, so <clears throat> I have actually loaded into Fortnite right now. This is all without the tweaks. As you guys can see, I put the MSI Afterburner FPS up here because usually you guys can't see the FPS because it's too low and it's too small there. Um, but yeah, I haven't done literally anything to my PC. I just factory resetted it just for this video. So I'm hoping that Xylo tweaks will improve our FPS. But now we're just going to see how it is without the tweaks and then after. Okay, so this is straight up just without tweaks at all. I'm getting around 250 FPS just like staying still. And now I will have a look at the um, uh, free building part of it. Oh, okay. I just had a really big frame drop right there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is how much fps i do get um i'm actually there is a new feature called simple edit and i do want to try it out apparently it's like op or something i'm not exactly sure how it works oh what the you can literally just press one click and it does the edit wait this is crazy what the hell wait, that's crazy but anyways, that is enough of the before tweaks. You guys can see how much I'm getting right now. Around 180, 170, something like that. Now I'm going to go apply the tweaks. All right, guys. So now I'm going to go onto Xylo tweaks. So what you do is you run it as admin and it will install it because it is like an interactive app. Okay, so now we're actually in the app. I'm just going to minimize everything. You cannot like full screen it. So this is the best that you guys are going to see. This is just the acceptance terms. Press accept, then you paste your code. I have my code right here. Log in. There we go. Okay, so this is actually the utility. This is the system tweaks. CPU, GPU, network, device, and social. This just brings into his actual social page, as you can see right here. But yeah, so pretty much I'm going to do all these tweaks, except for the power tweaks, because I am on laptop so i'm not sure how that's gonna go i'm gonna do everything other than power tweaks and i will see how my computer performs after and guys i actually did forget to do this one thing what you got to do is you're gonna make a restore point i have gone through two tweaks but i think it should be fine so you just want to name your restore point just in case if you don't like anything or something messes up and it's as simple as that you press create and it creates a restore point and then if you do want to revert back to your old changes you can go back onto this and click it and it will restore everything pretty much so now i actually have used the tweaks what i'm gonna do is i'm going to restart my computer so it, the tweaks will come in effect first of all what i'm going to check is actually the um processes on my cpu all right so as you can see i got 123 processes it's much better than last time. I think last time was, what, 170? So it's like reduced 50 processes off. And what processes pretty much do is just reduce the amount of things that your CPU has to run so it can, can prioritize like other games more, such as Fortnite, which I'm going to be running. So right now, guys, I am booting Fortnite back up after I have applied the tweaks. The only thing that I have changed other than doing the tweaks is actually my resolution. I changed it to 1440 by 1080. If you guys are wondering, it's a stretched resolution and you should be able to change it on NVIDIA control panel if you do have a NVIDIA GPU. All right, guys. So I have just loaded back into um, Fortnite. It's the exact same map as I um, showed you. And now, as you can see, we're getting around 250 to 320 FPS. So that is that is a big improvement since before. I think it was 250. And then when I'm building, I can't see right now. What I did notice though is my delay 
like I literally have zero delay. My edits feel so smooth and so much quicker. So it did say that it was supposed to improve my ping and like decrease it, but it didn't really do much. It's just kind of been the same ping the whole time. I mean, I don't really blame it. It is kind of hard to actually tweak your PC for better ping, but in the FPS category, like it's really nice. I'll show you. As I was um, showing you guys before, when I was walking around, it was around 170 to 180. And now it's like 230 or 240. And keep in mind, this is a laptop, guys. Like I'm on a laptop, which is about four years old. So that is pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. And the input delay, like that's just like, it's crazy. The input delay, like I literally feel like I don't even think the FPS matters. Wait, let's see. Let's see. I'm on 60 FPS right now. Okay. This is pretty horrible. I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to see how the input delay is even on 60 FPS. Like, bro, even on 60 FPS, bro, like it's not that bad. Your input delay will be so good. Like I usually cannot build this well on 60 FPS only. Like it's crazy. Anyways, guys, that pretty much sums it up for today's video. I know it was pretty short, but what I wanted to do is promote Xylo's tweaks. And I mean, like, honestly, he's the 25 bucks. Just ask, like, if you have a job, it's like one hour of working, probably even less, actually. Or you can just save up for a little bit for 25 bucks worth, and you'll get, like, such a better performance instead of your usual performance. But I would recommend, like, factory resetting your PC before it, because if you do have other tweaks, like, before that, it's going to interfere with each other. And I'm not sure how good the performance will be, like, compared to like a straight factory reset like i did so hopefully now that i actually have done these tweaks i will get stable fps in battle royale because i was on like 60 to 90 fps like like last night i think and honestly bro like that is not playable so hopefully with this i'll be able to play once 120 fps stable and another shout out to xylo his tweaks are amazing and thank you for sending me your tweaks for free to do this video anyways guys thank you for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video